Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you are enjoying this playlist. Uh, in this particular video, we'll be setting up Kafka on Confluent Cloud because we need a Kafka instance. So I have chosen Confluent because it's just easier to create a cluster, create, you can delete the cluster whenever you can, and it just provides a cleaner UI for uh, working with Kafka. And this is something that you can, if you are already using AWS or Azure, you can just create a managed Kafka cluster on that particular uh, cloud vendor. And because underlining uh, APIs remain the same, right? Kafka APIs remain the same. So you can create any Kafka instance in any cloud provider or wherever you need. So you can just work on that. So for, uh, in this video, we'll set up in Confluent Cloud. So let's go to the browser. You need to do is like just search for Confluent free trial. So you'll get to this particular link. And if you see that uh, it provides a $400 to spend during the first 30 days, right? So $400 they will provide you and you can use all the services of Kafka Confluent Cloud. And uh, this is more than enough. Like in May, in 30 days you can uh, learn all, everything about Kafka and you can uh, do a lot of projects here, right? So first thing first, you can sign it with Google or GitHub or you can create your own account with your email ID. So let me just sign in with Google. So once you sign in, you'll get to this page. You can define your name and what company you're working for. If you need, uh, then do a submit. And this will ask you some questions about Kafka. So you can mention like you are new to this. Yeah, so you can just give any name here. Like you can give like first cluster. And this is where it will need your payment information. So you can just provide, it will not be charged anything for now. And we can see like if you are getting charged in, there is a build, billing dashboard exists in Confluent Cloud. So if you see that it gives you $400 and will not spend much for this. So once you give all your credit card information, you can just create launch cluster. It will launch a cluster for you. Okay. Uh, so once you set up everything, you will reach to this particular place. Uh, so this is a very cleaner UI so you can go to environments and you will see that there's a default uh, names environment was created and on the on that you will have for your first cluster right so you go to the cluster and if you just go down you will see that uh, we have all the like on that particular cluster what's the cluster usage you'll able to get that what are the different topics what are different partitions and all that right so if you just go to topics so i'll just show you like how to create a topic here so just do create topic and basically you can mention like this is your first first topic and this is where you define the partitions, right? So let me just define the partition as three partitions. So this particular topic has three partitions and uh, we will create with the defaults, right? So this is where your topic will come. Click again, you will get to this stage and you can see what's happening with your particular topic right so once we produce some data you will see all the production how much bytes you are per second you are pushing and what's the consumption around it you'll be able to see the messages here so whatever messages you are sending you'll get all your messages here right similarly for configuration you will see like uh, retention bytes retention millisecond and how many partitions are there right so now with this i think this is all i wanted to share in this video so this was mainly on like creating the confluent cloud or creating the cluster uh, so one thing i wanted to just show you so if you just go click here and go to billing and payment 
and this is where it will show you the, your billing right so if you see now i am not getting any charge you will get like 400 dollar uh, or uh, you can see like how much dollar it is like left so you can track your spending here but uh, so what else i need to show you okay so whenever you're done with your stuff right so better what you do is you go to a cluster right uh, let me go to environments i'll go to this particular cluster so there is no option to you know stop this particular cluster either it's running or you can delete it so better you delete the cluster because you get charge for like running the cluster right so if you are not doing anything on your cluster you can just delete it and it's it just like you can just create a button to create a cluster again so it's better to you know delete it whenever you're not using it right so this is uh, this is it and in the next video we'll be seeing how to produce the data to kafka how to consume the data from kafka so i'm pretty excited for that and stay tuned